Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Ken's being a bitch and doesn't want to join us, so... Death the house, Stark! Anyway. Can't Long be. live the Lannisters! Ken being a bitch. You have the Rhino, and you have Ali Alejandro, and we have this beer from Oh My Gang in Cooperstown, New York. This okay. is a beer that's coming to Canada next month. Nice. So it's going to be available at the LCBOs next month. But this is the Game of Thrones Iron Throne Blonde Ale. Oh, oh, you oh, flippin' oh. nerd! So there is the HBO label on here and everything else because it is a uh, HBO certified license. Yeah, um, Six point five percent alcohol. It is an ale brewed with grains of paradise and lemon peel. Wow. Mmm, grains of paradise. Paradise. I dream of that. Hey, hey! Every... You should label the video. I was gonna let that go and fire, but I'm glad my hand was on it because it shot. <laughs> Hey, let's do the cork. I want to see if there's Game of Thrones stuff on the cork. No, let's it's see. the, uh, I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it. No, it has the line of Lannister on it! Whoa! Oh, that's a bit of a hit. That, that might be a, That might be a little... <laughs> it said vigorously to release the bouquet. Yeah, that's pretty vigorous. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Remember, remember, this is a, uh, Oma Gang is owned by Duvel. Duvel's yeah. known for its huge head. <laughs> We probably should have gotten the proper glasses. Oh. Just but, drink uh, it out of the bottle. <laughs> just drink it out. <laughs> okay, I, I'm actually kind of confused, because if you follow Game of Thrones, no one drinks beer. Everyone drinks wine. Everyone drinks wine in Game of Thrones. Really? But maybe they're actually drinking this beer. Beer, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe they're drinking grog. No, it's, it's to the point where I think it's almost like Roman times, where they didn't really have beer in ancient Rome. Because they didn't. There you guys go. Still like half a bottle. Oh wow! So hazy. <laughs> Lots of head. Lots of carbonation. It smells yeasty. I, I can smell the grains of paradise though. I don't get the lemon peel really. I smell the cork. I smell the blood of Starks. Fuck off! I like the Starks. Fuck the Starks! They're a bunch of wolf jacket wearing motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 and you know those guys, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Those dudes in the bar wearing the wolf jacket, or maybe the wolf t-shirt, with like the fuzzy wolf like, like pictures on their walls. My Weirdos. mother has those fuzzy wolf Weirdos. pictures on her walls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I am uh, should be allowed to drink this, I've never, I don't watch the show. You should. Why? Maybe you'll show. start watching the show after you drink this. No, I doubt it. Do you like Rome? No. It smells almost like a Belgian. Do you like blood? No. Well, like it would be a Belgian style. It's made by Oma yeah. Gang. Do you Wait, like, what are you asking? Like, general questions for names of shows? But Belgians make blonde well, ales. They're the ones that actually oh, make Oh, okay. Do it again. Blood. Rome? Blood, yeah. You're Sex, thinking of yeah. blonde lager. Yeah. Okay. Which is an American blonde adjunct blonde. lager. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Political yeah. intrigue and assassination? Yeah, usually, I usually relate to the term I, uh, blonde. Look, look, the... look at the head, the way it fades away. It's like... There's something... It's weird, the way it goes away. It's actually going away quite like the... Uh, it goes like from the sides. Icebergs. Yeah, like from yeah. the sides. Like it's, A lot it's... like the Duvel. So, oh. vision-wise, like... Aesthetically, it looks amazing. Let's try it. Look at the lacing on the glass. Woohoo! Now, is it doing something funky in your mouth? Like thickening up? Yeah. It somehow does, yes. Is it playing what? the Game of Thrones in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Are they fighting over the Kingdom of Westeros in your mouth? <laughs> Like, I'm not sure if I would call it like, I think thickening the dragon out, just attacked me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would call it uh, thickening out, but it, it, there's certainly a, an aftertaste that I don't really... A dire don't. wolf just shit on my tongue. No, um... No, that was you. <laughs> maybe. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting beer. It really is interesting. You get the grains of paradise. Uh, I'm getting some lemon peel on the taste. Mm -hmm. I'm getting coriander. Uh, lots and lots of Belgian yeast. Very yeasty. Uh, it's 6.5% alcohol, and it has like a 9% alcohol alcohol burning. Mm -hmm. Like, it, the alcohol warming is huge on this, and it's only a 6.5. Uh, it's just not like the aftertaste. Does it feel like a dwarf with a battle axe in your head? It, it, it's got a weird texture. 
does. Maybe if it's just... Try it out of the bottle there, Ken. Oh, well, as soon as I finish my life here. He doesn't use a battle axe. He does in the books. He doesn't in the show. He does in the books. Yeah. How would he even swing a battle axe? I'm telling you, in the books, he uses oh. a battle axe. Peter Dinklage <laughs> cannot swing a battle axe. Yeah, well, that's because Peter Dinklage is a modern man. <laughs> it's, it's a hatchet. It's a battle axe. <laughs> You read the books? I'd go with a hatchet. It's a hatchet. You read the books? <laughs> no, I haven't read the books. It's a battle axe. Little hammer. A little hammer. <laughs> it's about this size. He's <laughs> got a tiny... He's tiny got a, ho! <laughs> got a tiny spoon. You leave, you leave the Lannisters alone. They're my heroes. Jamie uh, Lannister is the best. Why? Because he fucks his sister? Absolutely. If I had a sister, I'd fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, back to the beer. Back to the beer. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, you remember when someone asked if, if uh, Ken's gonna say anything inappropriate? <laughs> there it is. Uh. <laughs> Ken and inappropriate go he hand goes, in hand. Please, there's your man-child quote right there. <laughs> If I had a sister, I'd fuck her. I uh, said I'd fuck it. Oh, I? it's. <laughs> Didn't I? Video proof. I don't know. Um. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about this beer is, as you said, the aftertaste. The aftertaste is very yeasty, yeah, and the grains of paradise come out on the aftertaste too, which is why it has that mm -hmm. weird flavor at the background. Uh, is it solidifying in my mouth? No, it's not. Cum. Um, <laughs> that's my inappropriate comment of the day. But, uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty good beer. Uh, would I drink it again? Yeah, would I buy it again? It all matters what it's going to cost once it gets to Ontario. Yeah, the label alone will probably jack the price up by a couple yep. bucks. I, I'm trying to remember no, what, what I paid in the States. I think it was six or seven bucks. What the hell? Like, how much is it? I think it was seven ninety nine. It's six. No, five. but then, like, how big is it? Is it seven fifty? Uh, it looks no, like it's seven fifty. Doesn't say anywhere. Well, yeah, it looks like it's seven fifty. It's probably got to be around $13 around here. Yeah, for that, I wouldn't pay for it again. Yeah. If it was around the $8 that I paid for it in the States, I would give it like a 7 5 uh, If it's going to hit $13, again, I don't know what it's going to be, but you're right, it's probably going to be in the 10 to 12 range. Um, All right, let's try that. Well, look, Lake of Bays, Lake of Bays does, does the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they, but they're Lake of Bays, they're a craft brewery, they put their bottles, like, they, like same style of bottle, not style, but like same size, and they're, they're around $9, right? And then there's the uh, flying monkeys, like flying monkeys. Every time that they put a big bottle out, it's it's stupidly expensive. Well, yeah, publicity. They, they were seven. It was seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine in Amherst, New York. So, so with yeah, no taxing on it. it. You tax it, you're gonna put at least, you're gonna put at least another two dollars on it. And so then, so let's say it's just ten bucks. If it's just ten bucks, I'd give it a seven. I would buy it, but only if I was really in the mood for this it. This is still not winning me on taste, like, let alone I like price. It. I really like it. Yeah. I love white beers, though. But this is a blonde, right? It's almost a white. It has all the flavors of a white, but mm -hmm. with uh, more yeasty weirdness. It's good. It's really good. It is good. But what would you give it out of ten? Eight. Eight and You'd a half. You'd give it an eight? Eight and a half. This kind of competes with I'd give it a four. This is uh, this is six. How can no one like the wheat beer? Wheat beer is the best beer in the world. Wheat beer is good beer. This reminds me a lot of Copenhagen, 1669. They're, uh, they're, yeah. They're, was it white? Yeah, they're white. They're very similar to this. The one that comes in the blue bottle. More fucking cowbell. Ow. Alrighty, so uh, eight, seven, four, six. Not a bad beer all around, except for from the PBR lover behind the camera. That's not why it's getting such a low rating. I know. I'm just gonna. Actually, you know what? It's, it's, I'll give it a four or five. How about that? So uh, no yeah, horrendous aftertaste. Uh, it's worth drinking if you're a. The if aftertaste you're a, is what's horrendous about this beer. I don't find there is any aftertaste. I wasn't talking directly to you. Okay. Yeah, what, what are you? What are you? He was directing this. Why do you keep butting into my conversations? Yeah, you? fuck. Stop just talking then. Fuck Thank your you hat, guys. Allie. Bye. Fuck your hat. Oh, I love my hat. Yeah, go I will fuck, fuck it go every fuck single hat. night of my probably, life. Probably, probably. That's what I do. I clean Good my. Good luck filling one of those little socks in. God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> already. What is this round two? 
<laughs> of what? No, just ending round. No, start of round three. This is starting round three? Yeah. No, this is the end of round two. I've only done one. Yeah, she's only done one, so this is round two. So, be so we starting got, your we round got three. to inappropriate on the second round this time around. That's pretty, that that took a while. That took a while, yeah, actually. It, it all matters it, who's it here. Like, Usually we can hit it in round one. Oh, well, when Tam's here. here, yeah. You know what? I was a little bit worried when I heard it was coming tonight because I thought there would be no energy in the room. How fucking wrong was I? Yeah, I, I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn that one off. This yeah, one? Yeah, that one? This there. one right here? That one right this there. This right here? Yeah, that one there. This right here? Bye, YouTube.